Hey, Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I'm here with Frank Scott Kruger from Humble Sea Brewery. How you doing, Frank? I'm doing awesome. Awesome. So, we could talk about the history of Humble Sea. We can talk about the humble beginnings seven years ago when Nick came up with the uh, the, the name, and but I feel like that story's been told. Yeah. It so. Has. <laughs> it's been a year, a year and like a couple months since you have opened, right? Yep. Yeah. So what, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I mean, it's pretty awesome that you actually opened a brewery. Most people can't say, oh yeah, I opened a brewery and actually still running. Yeah. <laughs> and to actually say like, you know, every single person says, our camera guy just said, like, oh, that is my favorite brewery in town. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. How does it make you feel to like, that you've actually accomplished this? Yeah, I would say like the first few years before we actually opened, you yeah. know, like trying to get it off the ground. Uh, I was pretty sure it was never going to actually open. <laughs> so now that we've been open for like a year and two months, it's yeah. finally starting to like actually set in. It's probably going to work out. We're like, in ex <laughs> yeah, we're like existing. We're like yeah. a business. We're open. We're running and we're growing. It's like, it's, it feels You're weird. Totally growing. So what are like, what's some of the highlights? It's been a year, you know, a year and a couple months or whatever we said. Um, what are some of like the the things you're like, man, I, you maybe didn't even know it was going to happen, but you're like, this is really cool. Yeah. I would say, I would say probably the coolest thing that's happened over the last year since we've opened yeah. is, uh, is, is canning. We started to package our beer and we kind of thought, cool. Like this is just a smaller format for beer. Like people will get to take cans home, like done deal. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe we'll like sell a little bit more beer that way. But, uh, Things kind of like went crazy, like yeah. it's absolutely like the out very of first one, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they 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 keep selling faster and faster. But the cool thing is, is like people like where these cans and end up. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, someone from Iceland took a picture, like you know, hey, I've got a humble sea beer, like in Iceland. People on the East Coast are trading for it, so it's just showing up all over the country, and we're oh, just like, hey. yeah, no, I've been uh, on Instagram. You can follow tags now, so I and I follow the humble sea tag, and it's oh, ridiculous. It, like you said, it's like from all these different countries. People are like here showing their can. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it. That's that's such a crazy. It's like it's very humbling. Like I hate to use that, like, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah. it, it's extremely humbling. But also too, for you, it's the extra, I guess bonus is that you design the actual labels or is that called label or cover or what, what would that yeah labels good <laughs> yeah that you design that just see like your artwork so not just your beer but your artwork around the world must be awesome yeah yeah i mean i i think because you know in today's world everyone kind of communicates online digitally yeah. especially when you're in another country or something like that yeah so really what does get communicated about humble sea beer a lot of times if it's on instagram or some other platform yeah. is the artwork and the color of the beer. Those are yeah. like two things, right? And you can describe it, but it's yeah. like, cool, one person tastes strawberries, the other one, uh, other person tastes lime or something mm -hmm. like that. So it's yeah. just like everyone's got a unique experience of drinking the beer, but the label's always gonna be the same. Yep, no, that's super cool. So you enjoyed that part. You have these releases, these certain um, like beer releases. Like you had one today, right? Can you explain what that one was today? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the releases have been great. Like yeah. it's been really, really cool. Um, yeah, this one is a uh, farmhouse ale with raspberries. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Mirage Atlas. Okay. And uh, I wasn't sure. So we're constantly, like, we're, we're like in, still in startup mode. So we're constantly like scrambling to get projects together. So yeah. for example, like we didn't decide we were going to release this beer until two days ago, <laughs> okay. which isn't enough time for me to really like let the world know that it's coming. Yeah. Uh, but we were just like, okay, we got the labels in, we're releasing it. So okay. like I posted about it and we just released it today at noon and the whole batch sold out in three minutes. <laughs> it's like really crazy. It's like kind of like ticket sales. Like we're trying to get tickets to the Beatles or something. Like go to a master. They're gone three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Except for we're, we make way less cool music. <laughs> yeah. But you do other kind of music. Yeah. So what, that's all the fun stuff. And I know there's a lot more. I mean, just like the community is rallied around you. You've always had a great community, but um, what have you learned in the last year? Like there must have been some learning experience. Actually, there's probably been learning experiences for the last like four years of this, like your process of it. But yeah. this year, since you've opened, what's the big takeaways? Um, you know, like when we opened, we opened with, I mean, there's like brewing numbers. So it's kind of hard to, I mean, I can do it in gallons. So like yeah. we opened with like a 300 gallon system, right? Yeah. So we make 300 gallons of beer at a time. Mm -hmm. And to me, that seemed like massive. We're like, yeah. oh, we're never going to be able to like, not just one batch will last us like a year. Yeah. And uh, people kept telling us like in the industry, like this isn't going to be enough. You guys are going to like, this, you're going to need so much more capacity, everything else. Yeah. And what I've constantly been learning is like, we always need to like go bigger than we expect. And like, cause we're just pleasantly surprised by yeah. like sort of like the outcome. 
but at the same time we always have this constant struggle of like making enough beer you know what i mean like, yeah it would be it's great that you know enough people like our beer that it's selling out in three minutes but it'd be awesome if it didn't kind yeah. of you know what I mean? exactly, <laughs> like yeah. more people can get six it. minutes <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a, a, an hour yeah an hour a degree. day <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe yeah a couple weeks you mean more well you just yeah. got you got some a new capacity whatever it's called recently right yeah we just yeah. we got more tanks so okay. we tanks. we doubled in capacity okay so that's cool so we're like humble c times two okay and can you actually make enough even though okay so now you have this tank do you have enough like i don't know manpower to actually make it to at that point or like is that another process uh well we got we got another man on the team okay so it's like another you know piece of the the puzzle yeah. of the power and we're constantly like hi, like looking for more people uh i don't know if we're going to be able to like keep up with it but yeah. i'm pretty stoked we have you know what tanks. then probably then you're not right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i know at this point I don't, I don't know yeah no like and you know me i, I always say like, no i i there's been times where i've called taylor the other one of the other co-owners and I'm like okay can you be at this event it's like we don't have enough beer sorry yeah. we can't so i love you having more capacity yes yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah yeah um okay so last question what's next for humble sea brewery any ideas what's like what's the is there like so you just got you know another tank but is there anything like new up and coming um, what's next? Yeah, I mean, probably shouldn't say this, but <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we're working on expanding um, to the railroad side okay. of our building. Uh, we're working with RTC so that we can have this like larger beer garden because as mm. many like as, as you know, like if you if you come hang out at Humble Sea on a yeah. Saturday, like you can't find a place to sit. Yeah. So like we're working on expanding and then also like sort of embracing the rail trail that's going to be going like right by there. So we'll just have like way more space. We'll awesome. be able to have like bike parking, stuff like that. I love so, the bar bike parking they have currently outside right now, the, um, the rental bikes. Oh yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Great. Okay. Well, hey, go ahead. love what you're doing. Love your beer and um, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.